The murder trial of a woman accused of shooting and killing a man who drove away from a crash has just wrapped up its second day in Clayton County. Prosecutors say Hannah Payne followed 62-year-old Kenneth Herring before getting into an argument with him and firing the shot that killed him. But on the other side, the defense says that Payne acted in self-defense. Fox has Tyler Finger live for us in Clayton County tonight with what has happened today in court. Tyler? Hey, yeah, Tom, good evening to you. It was an emotional day for everyone involved as several 911 calls were played from the minutes before the shooting until just after the deadly shot was fired. This is the 911 call that prosecutors say shows Hannah Payne crossed the line when she tried to stop 62 year old Kenneth Herring after he left the scene of a crash in 2019. Prosecutors say Herring wasn't drunk, but instead having a medical issue. According to the call, Payne eventually gets a tag number, but she continues to follow Herring anyway, despite the dispatcher repeatedly telling her to stop. Prosecutors say Payne didn't just follow Herring. She cuts him off, got into an argument, and shot him. It was like really aggressive. It was just road rage at the time. And then uh, a woman popped out of the car, and she said, get that up out the truck. Um, I kept saying to myself, I hope she don't shoot him. And when I heard the gunshot, he looked at me. And I looked at him and he just had this look on his face. Payne's attorney says she was told to get the tag number by the Georgia correctional officer who took the stand Wednesday. The defense says Herring attacked her and the shooting was in self-defense. Her attorney, Matt Tucker, says there's a possibility she tells the jury that herself. She's always wanted to get there and set the other side of the story, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be surprising if she does, but at this time we're going to hold our cards until they're necessary. Court is wrapped up until 9 tomorrow morning, and the defense says that the prosecution still has several witnesses left to call, and then they'll present their side, so this whole trial is expected to wrap up sometime next week. We're live in Clayton County tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. All right, Tyler, thanks.